Oh, look at the cute little baby turtle. I never actually noticed that they were this small. Wow. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Butterfly. But you can call me Fly. We're back here on Minecraft, as it's Minecraft Monday, and this is episode 48 of the Minecraft Let's Play series. I know, it's been a hot minute since we've actually had episode 47, so if you guys want to go ahead and check that one out, I have an info card above my head. You guys can go ahead and navigate over to that one. Check that one out. That was weeks ago at this point. And I'm not going to lie, I haven't made too much progress on the Ocean Monument since that episode until recently. I don't want to lie to you guys, I did indeed cheat my minecraft world recently this isn't something that i've done before and now i'm confessing it no this is just something recently within the past not even day so if we go ahead and take a look here at this contraption i guess you could consider it if you guys have any knowledge of glitches then you probably know what this is and that's exactly what this is and for those of you that don't know what this is this is indeed a glitch machine you go ahead glitch items out by putting them in this chest saving at a certain time yada 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 and i had to do it now indeed i say i had to do it but i did not have to do it this extra i have 50 sponge now in my minecraft world so that is very blatant that i went ahead and cheated these blocks not by heading into creative or any of that just by doing this glitch which real quick to kind of give you guys a rundown you go ahead and build this little thing up you have three blocks high of cobble three blocks high of cobble with an extra row at the end or an extra column and then you go ahead and stick this one block here you stick your chest in the middle you block the water off with signs then of course you put your water that's it then you get a shulker box or whatever of your items you just plop the shulker box down you go ahead throw your items in and make sure you have nothing else on get rid of your armor and all that other stuff and make sure you go ahead and make a copy of your world as well if you're going to go ahead and do this because you do have the potential to go ahead and lose the items that you're trying to duplicate so you go ahead do this you save right here and then how i've done it it kind of varies for some people i guess i i haven't experienced it working any other way than this but i go ahead i do a save I get back into my world as soon as I load back in I open up the chest I plop that in and then I walk right into the water and then I wait until the bubbles get down to the last solid bubble I go to the home tab I'm on Xbox so I go to the home tab I go back to the dashboard I quit out of Minecraft after about two Mississippi seconds and then boot it back up and by the time I'm back in I have the shulker box back in my inventory and then it's also still in the box and that's worked every single time and i had to simply because this progress that you see here would not have even been done by now kind of give you guys visual explanation of things so i'm doing these four wide gaps so if you go ahead and chop that up i started off all the way over there i probably got three columns in, like three of these rows in and then by then i ended up making a mistake and th this was completely my fault and i felt i had to do this duplication glitch to fix it so i started this entire build out with only 10 sponge three rows in with only 10 sponge i didn't even have a hoe because i didn't know that hoes were the most efficient way to break them so i kept breaking them with my fist so what the case was is i mentioned in the may the 4th video there on battlefront 2 i got into a little bit of cyberpunk edge runners and then from there i went ahead and stumbled upon vinland saga very interesting series i got to a point in that series where they didn't have the english dubbed version i was kind of looking up that and then i had to go to the bathroom in the same process came back started fiddling around with that some more to try and find the english dubbed version of some of them because you get so far in it and they're just not caught up yet and i kind of wanted to keep watching it so unfortunately i honestly got caught up and trying to find that entire English version of it. And in the process, I had half of my 10 sponge just laying on the ground. I'm sure you guys can see where this is going. I ended up waiting too long, waited the five minutes, and then it dawned on me, wait, where's my other sponge? Surely enough, it despawned. So that is my story as to why I have 50 sponge now. I know it's a little bit overkill. I really didn't need to do that. And in all honesty, I initially did only get my extra five back, but then I was like, you know what? 
I've been milking this build out for quite a while. I need to really get a good bit of progress going on it because I want to start working on what the build's going to be. I want to start working on the overgrown look and the abandoned theme of it and everything else. But I still haven't even drained the thing out. I haven't gotten grass going yet. I haven't done any of this hoopla. So I was like, I need to get some progress going on this. And my bright idea was to go ahead and duplicate enough sponge that I had 50. Due to the fact that I do have this 50, it is the entire reason that I do have this much progress done, literally half of it. And so I guess it's kind of already obvious at this point, since I said about needing a hoe for more efficient mining of the sponge, we now have a netherite hoe. It is a bit strange though, I will say, every time I see 50 sponge in my inventory, it it just keeps clicking in my mind over and over and over again why I have 50 sponge and it's simply just because I went ahead and was fiddling around with Vinland Saga trying to get the English dub version for far too long, got up, went to the bathroom, did, did a little bit of other things as well after doing so, came back and was focused on that instead of focusing on the build and was the whole reason that some of my blocks despawn. Which by the way, Vinland Saga, great little series both that and cyberpunk edge runners is on netflix so if you guys want to check those out definitely go ahead and do so they're great shows i'm not going to spoil a single thing i will say though if you're an individual that needs any language other than what it originally is which is japanese bear in mind that whenever you get to season 2 episode 15 ish it doesn't have any of that so you're gonna have to just keep that in mind if you're an individual that can't listen to the japanese audio or any of that i can it's just the issue i had is that being that i don't know what they're saying i needed to look at the english subtitles to understand it and they went too fast in the first place like they just kept flashing by i couldn't keep up with them already and then to throw on the fact that i was focused on doing the build while multitasking watching that it just wasn't working out i would like to mention as well i have not not knock on wood i don't want to jinx it i have not trapped a single dolphin yet well you know what i have trapped one but i didn't drain it out to the point that i ended up you know killing it which that's one little thing that i was trying to accomplish i don't know if it's just how long i've been at it but it just feels like i'm not getting anything accomplished now man these guardians don't help one bit while trying to get this done all right ladies and gentlemen i think that's where i'm gonna go ahead and cut this it's gonna be two days within this video i've never actually done that before but that's it for this part i'll see you guys in the next day and we're back so in case you guys didn't know in case maybe i was a little too tired i have no clue what i said honestly so whatever i said prior to this transition into the new day some of it may be scrapped i don't know but to go ahead and kind of just recap why i'm clothed different it's a whole new day i've been working on this for a hot minute now this build has taken me some time i want to say i've been grinding on this all weekend been going to town working on this non-stop yesterday was really non-stop though that's the most that i've been working on it i worked on it literally all day from the moment that i woke up i hopped on minecraft recorded some clips throughout the day there for the beginning half prior to this transition into the new day i, I just got tired i i couldn't make it through the day to kind of keep going so this minecraft monday is a little bit late technically minecraft tuesday you guys could probably already tell if i didn't cut too much i actually have some energy yes i was insanely tired so i wanted to go ahead and cut it and just start fresh my intentions are to at least get it drained out for this episode i want to definitely save the rebuilding the redecorating and everything for its own separate episode i know i've been milking this out for weeks now i wanted to at least give this draining its own episode because we've been at it for quite a while so i wanted to kind of pinpoint it i wanted to actually have a pinpoint moment where i finally finish this so if there's a time where I look back at the episodes and I'm like, man, think about that time where I ended up draining this out and it took me weeks to actually get to it. And then whenever I finally did get to it, it took me like three to four days to actually get it all done. I just think that kind of stuff would be really cool. So that's just simply 
like I said, why I want to go ahead, chop this stuff up into their own separate videos. One thing that's been an absolute pain with this build, by the way, if you guys ever do some draining of an ocean monument by chance and you're doing it in survival and all that, keep in mind, you're probably going to want some full netherite armor because it's a little bit better. But whenever I was having the elytra and I kept hopping in here, this section and the past two sections have been terrible when it comes to the guardian. They don't leave you alone whatsoever. And tons of them spawn i had 10 of them in one section two sections ago and it's just simply a pain when you're trying to place this sponge or break the sponge and you're just getting beamed all over the place which yes i did indeed die having the elytra on instead of my chest plate i did indeed die unfortunately i wasn't recording so you guys don't get my sleepy frustrated reaction that i had to getting just slapped around because i was absolutely getting bonked around i was in the middle i got smacked up against this wall smacked up against that wall shot up into the air smacked up against the wall again and then got shot all the way down to this far end and ended up just getting beamed by the last one that still had a beam ready and right then and there i was slain by guardian you guys know how it goes whenever you're tired you kind of get a little bit more cranky and things of that nature so the littlest of things were kind of bugging me so even more so a reason to go ahead and cut it but regardless we're almost there <laughs> anyway regardless we are almost there this little section is almost done and then we just have i want to say if we chop it up into these fours still probably another four or five little sections to go and since it's getting tighter since the circle is kind of closing at the end here it is going to be a little bit easier to go ahead and drain them out a tiny bit faster see i don't know how i'm going to deal with these guys i mean it's going to be kind of cool whenever the ocean monuments fully drained smack the pillagers and then we'll activate the waves of pillagers here at the ocean monument and i think that this could be an actual cool area to go ahead and battle the pillagers especially since i don't have any other pillagers to kind of worry about i do want to try and trap a pillager at some time too. leave a pillager here kind of like he's abandoned and this is his home or something that could be a cool idea i might do that i think now that we've gotten this far one of my bigger concerns now is will my hoe make it through the rest of the ocean monument build? Because it really sucks whenever I kind of repair tools. I just sit there at the zombie spawner AFKing and I just let it sit there for half an hour to 45 minutes or something like that to ensure that I have enough zombies piled up in there. And as I've already done that once with the build, repairing the hoe, I don't want to have to do that again. I don't really want to burn that time rate tile because I just... I want the efficiency, you know? I, I just wanna get this done, get it drained, and work on a couple other little things around the build. But man, look at how massive this is. Whenever you're actually on ground level with this thing, it's huge. Kinda in a way looks like a sphinx without the head though. So I don't exactly know how this happens, and I've been sitting here contemplating what to even do here. So I hopped through the nether portal and I have no clue what had happened besides I just, flashed into the nether and i was stuck in a block suffocating at the exact coordinates that in the overworld is where the nether portal is beside the ocean monument so we are thousands of blocks away i don't even think that there's another portal in here unfortunately i just got thrown into the nether and i was glitched inside of a block suffocating and nearly died and i was scared that whenever i did break the block i was going to go ahead and fall down into the lava somewhere down there all around i don't know what to do besides hop down through that hole and go find the nether portal we'll, we'll see how this goes I'll, I'll i'll try we're gonna do what we can here to try and survive and get through the nether but i don't know how this happens i don't know if somehow something broke my nether portal on the other side somehow at the last second there might have been a creeper that spawned or something even though i went to bed so it should have been daytime so i don't know if somehow magically there was something like a creeper or something that ended up blowing up the overworld nether portal at the exact second that i flashed into the nether i have no clue what happened i'm just at a loss for words at this point i am so confused as to how this happens there's no sign of life either though which is strange no boars no piglins no nothing oh yep never mind take it back there's some the nether is one thing but the nether unpopulated is a whole other genre of slightly terrifying regardless of whether i go to the home nether portal which will bring me right out beside the kingdom or i travel to the o ocean monument nether portal i'm still gonna have to travel 1000 blocks through the nether to find 
either portal. And I don't think that there's a way to somehow make another portal inside the nether. We just got to start somewhere, you know? So here we go. On the road again. Going places that I hope to never see again. You know what? I should be good at this. I should be well experienced in bridge making here regardless of whether there's lava underneath me or not i've gotten enough practice while it may not have been zigzag practice i have put in a lot of practice with this ocean monument build so i should not goof this up i should not mess up you know is this what i get for duplicating sponge is this my punishment oh great yeah i forgot about skeletons too but you know what i don't think the last time i was through here that i had netherite armor so hopefully i just absolutely tank this entire area have nothing to worry about you know what i'm just gonna travel through here just like this and just hope that i don't run into lava minecraft is like flipping a coin you know for, for me at least for me i got them days where minecraft everything just goes so smoothly in the game there, there's no flaws no screw ups no nothing and then there's there's just those days that creep up that are just like hey guess what here's Here's Herobrine, let me just slap him in your world. S something wild like that. You know those little things where it's where it's like, what does each game teach you? Well, Minecraft teaches me to stay on edge. It keeps me on edge. It, it keeps me alert. It keeps me ready. Like, hey, something bad could happen any second. You just gotta be ready for it, you know? That's what Minecraft does for me. Oh, I'm slow. Not just from the soul sand. Oh, go, go go oh oh that's a pit of lava oh sick man as long as the skeletons aren't following me i'm just gonna branch across and there's gas down below love that man i don't have any cobble we're about to bridge over a huge pit of lava oh sweet chimney crickets you know it's things like this i i feel like this could be my punishment for glitching the sponge but at the same time while i was glitching the sponge i was like you know i should really duplicate my armor and tools because what if something bad happens you know well, what if somehow some way something happens to where i lose some things it would be really nice to have a duplicate of these things already you know in case something does happen that way i'm not kind of just circling back to square one because i have no netherite scraps or anything i have no nothing of that i i do have diamonds we could easily get diamond armor but we don't have very many resources to get the many books for this stuff again tons of xp as of right now to go ahead and just go ham on all my tools and get all my tools and chance back we don't have the resources right now to be losing the things that I have. But on the bright side of things, only 1,100 more blocks to travel. In this moment, this has taught me. I think every now and again, I should start doing copies of my world prior to Let's Play episodes. I'd rather lose the progress in my build, even though I don't necessarily wanna go redoing things. I'd rather do that than this. I, I still don't comprehend how this could happen. How do you hop through the nether portal and it glitch out and teleport you into the nether at the same coordinates as your overworld nether portal was. No! So just like that, a gas that I couldn't even see slaps me right in the back. No way I could prevent that. I had no cobble, no other blocks from the nether that could withstand that. I mean, all, all of my netherite items are there, but by the time I would get to that, they're gone. They're, they're basically gone. Even if I did quickly respawn right as soon as I died. I mean, I've definitely already spent like a minute here just looking at them. I mean, on the bright side, I have this copy. This copy I made three days ago. This, I guess, can just go to show how much I've been working on this. Three days ago, this is the progress that I had made on the build. Crazy to think that we were here and this, this little section that is drained was what was left for today's episode. I wasn't kidding. I would rather sit here and reduplicate some sponge and drain out the ocean monument than I would getting all of my tools back and getting the sponge back because I don't know how I'd get the sponge back. I had all 49 sponge in my inventory that got burned in the nether. So I don't know how I'd get that back. I'd have to venture out because I don't think that the guardians themselves drop sponge. And if they do, it is a very rare drop. It's gotta be like a 2% 
drop rate or something. But I think unfortunately, I'm just going to go ahead and call this episode there. I got to reduplicate all the sponge. I got to get the hoe back because I know I did this much progress right here with the 10 sponge that I had this much progress with just my fist and 10 sponge and i'm probably going to duplicate my tools as well i just feel like i have to at this point I, this has happened to me a handful of times already in this let's play series and it sucks every single time i lose my things but that's it for this one ladies and gentlemen not the episode 48 that i intended for i know but i guess i'm just gonna have to redo everything it's as simple as that there's nothing else to it i'm just gonna have to reduplicate some things and get back to the progress that we had hope you guys enjoyed it and with that Peace out, Monarch Militia, and as always, spread love, radiate positivity, and try to smile. See ya.